Throughout your mathematical training, you've studied a vast range of subjects, ranging from arithmetic and algebra to ring and group theory, analysis, topology, and linear algebra. So by now, you probably know all of mathematics can be described in the language of set theory. This is an amazing fact. It has allowed us to use one language to describe all mathematical structures. But in the 1950s and 60s, some mathematicians, by examining natural structures in such fields as algebraic geometry, discovered that sets might not be the only seat for mathematical reasoning. There are other places to do mathematics, where each theory has a new interpretation, which may be better suited to meet the needs of a problem. Each one of these places can be thought of as a universe, with its own laws of how mathematical objects within them behave. And just like how there are ways to compare objects within a universe, there are also sometimes ways we can compare objects between different universes. A mathematical universe is called a topos, with its plural being toposes, or sometimes topoi. But you can think of them as nice places to do math. To give you an example of how one uses toposes, consider the algebraic theory of unital commutative rings. Each topos has its own interpretation of this theory, with the interpretation in set being the one you come across in a normal abstract algebra class. Similarly, there is the theory of local unital commutative rings, which also has an interpretation in each topos. In each topos, a local ring is a commutative ring, indicated by the inclusion arrow. If we restrict ourselves to sets, then a universal local ring construction from rings is an impossibility. In other words, there are often many ways a ring can be made local, with sometimes no canonical choice. But if we consider constructions which allow us to step outside a given topos, we see there is a universal local ring construction from rings. However, it just doesn't live in the same topos. 